Hello, my name is Kevin Selvich and I'm the European Regional Development Manager for LEADER based in London in the UK. In this short video we're going to take a look at the SIMPTI standard ST2110. So what is SIMPTI ST2110? So to give SIMPTI ST2110 its full title, it's Professional Media Over Managed IP networks. The standard consists of a number of parts and we're going to focus on the main six parts of SIMPTI ST2110. To start with we're going to look at part 10, system timing and definitions. This standard specifies the system timing model and the requirements common to all essence streams. It defines the various system clocks and RTP timestamp creation based upon IEEE 1588. Next, we're going to take a look at part 20, uncompressed active video. This standard specifies the real-time RTP-based transport of uncompressed active video essence over IP networks. An SDP-based signaling method is defined for image technical metadata necessary to receive and interpret the stream. It includes, among other metadata, for HD and UHD resolution images, high dynamic range transfer characteristics and high frame rate formats. Part 21, traffic shaping and delivery timing for video. One of the biggest challenges broadcasters face when moving from an SDI to an IP infrastructure is that the SDI infrastructure was synchronous, whereas IP networks are asynchronous. So part 21 specifies a timing model for the SIMPTI 2110-10 video RTP streams as measured, leaving the RTP sender, and defines the sender STP parameters used to signal the timing properties of such streams. Part 30 PCM Digital Audio. This standard specifies the real-time RTP-based transport of PCM digital audio streams over IP networks by reference to AES67. An SDP-based signaling method is defined for metadata necessary to receive and interpret the stream. Non-PCM digital audio signals including compressed audio signals are outside the scope of this standard. Part 31 AES3 Transparent Transport This standard specifies the real-time RTP-based transport of AES3 signals over IP networks reference to a network reference clock. And finally Part 40 SIMPTI ST291-1 ancillary data. Part 40 specifies the real-time RTP payload based transport of SIMPTI ST291-1 ancillary data packets related to digital video data streams over IP networks reference to a common reference clock. The benefit of SIMPTI ST2110-20, 30 and 40 is that they are leveraging existing IP standards. First we have a series of RFC publications from the Internet Society of which the Internet Engineering Task Force is an associated body and these are underpinned by standards from the Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers. So thank you for joining us for this short video an introduction to SIMPTI 2110 Professional Media over IP Infrastructure. And if you have any questions or require any additional information, please don't hesitate to contact me on the numbers currently displayed on the screen.